gray hoodie mode engaged. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. It's the Triple Option, a rivalry victory edition of the Triple Option. I am here with my two best friends, Coach Adam Brown, Kevin Little, and the Knowles just beat the damn Gators. That's right. They beat them 45 to 38. It was pretty much an instant classic. Up, down, Florida State takes the reins in the third quarter and holds on for Mr. Toad's wild ride to have a 9-3 and three season. My God, it was epic. I can't wait to dissect the film. You guys say hi. You just say hi really quick so we can get right into it. Hello. Perfect, Adam. You guys are just wonderful rule followers. Well, <laughs> anything else? Let's just hit that film, right? Yeah, let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Yeah, All that's right. my line. Oh, what a fantastic night. And we start hey, off with Adam's favorite. Off. Yeah, he can't help himself. <laughs> Seriously, when are they going to get a clue? Nobody cares about the empty kickoff at the beginning of the game. You don't. We saw the set a lot on it's Friday A lot of night. stacks. I guess they were worried about man coverage, wanted to be able to get guys open. Yeah, this the stacks seemed pretty effective, too. Yeah, they were able to hit some uh, in-breakers as the game went on. Interesting stack down at the bottom here with uh, Cam McDonald and Johnny Wilson. Yeah, two mm -hmm. bigger Positive bodies. Some sort of screen game down there. I didn't go to that. Uh, Florida's doing a gap exchange, uh, so they, mm -hmm. they they were pretty prepared for this play here. So this guy forces the pull, and they have someone here for Jordan Travis. They they sprinted at the they sprinted the end at the back all night long. They were they were not going to have that that guy uh, feather it or slow play it. He was clearly on the back. They treated this like option football all the way. Nice conversion there. Such a shame <laughs> pulled that. They were rolling. So what did they call that? Did they call that? That was a fumble, right, on the field? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they yeah. called it a fumble. And it, it was. It was clean, yep. Yeah, it definitely was. And it, it it's just a shame, man. Florida State's wide receivers, it wasn't a full NC State, but they left. I feel like they left like two more touchdowns on the board, right? Yeah, and they had clear advantages against that secondary too, which is something we haven't seen in a while. It's a testament to what they've been able to build in that wide receiver room. And yeah, I thought they were able to attack out. those safeties any way they wanted. Yeah, I mean they the Florida was all about stopping the run in this mm -hmm. game. They were they were leaving their corners on islands and honestly that that one cornerback was was riding Johnny Wilson pretty pretty Jason hard to night. Yeah, he's a good athlete. That kid's pretty good. I mean, Wilson yeah, won I mean, his they were first year away but... with a ton of grabbing. <laughs> The refs let it go all night for I, I I and normally I'm a fan of that in rivalry games, but I don't know, man. These refs were garbage. <laughs> I really I really thought it was a bad crew. It's a good play by Kevin Knowles here. Let's start at the beginning, if we can. So we get a bunch set, which everybody's going to run bunch sets against Florida State because they've struggled handling them. Uh, you know, it's kind of they're in a weird predicament because Kevin Knowles is forced to play that nickel. The Sam linebacker, which he's played a lot of. Um, he, he's played a ton of that this year, obviously. He and Greedy Vance. But you see him in the box here. Yeah. Uh, be, because of how because of how Florida set it up. Uh, lately, that's been Jamie Robinson. They would like, they would prefer to that to be Jamie Robinson with Akeem Dent and Shaheen Brown back at safety. You had no Dent. Um, uh, Jarquez, uh, Pac McQuellian, McClellan, sorry. He didn't practice all week, I believe. So he was very, very limited. We saw him a little bit late. So they were really forced to play a true nickel defense against what ended up being a power offense from Florida. That was a big mismatch for them. Um, they they were they did get into a little bit of a, a true base three linebacker sets against some formations. Um, but Florida had the advantage formationally because – uh, like Florida seats lacking safeties. True three tight end or three linebackers don't see this terribly often in the modern game. Nope. But I thought that was a big storyline that people. Great stop you know, by the defense. The, at the end of the game, it was though Adam Fuller's not good at his job and he needs to be fired. I, I thought he went into this game really kind of without options. It's, it's safety for sure, and it's it's actually it was a more dangerously thin unit that I think we all realized, and it finally bit it bit FSU in the ass right against the team that was ready to take advantage of it. And man, what a run! Just outside zone. 
Yeah, huge yeah, it's hard hole, to tell man. They give us this terrible angle to start with. But. You see him. I mean, the end is sprinting at the running back. He's trying to catch him from behind. They've got the safety they roll down to account for Jordan Travis on the re-game. I mean, they were prepared for this stuff, and they still couldn't stop it. Whereas oh. on one hand, when I'm talking about Florida State, and maybe I'm making an excuse. People will say I'm making an excuse for Adam Fuller. But you were forced to play a nickel defense against a power running game the whole night. And, and and didn't really have any options to adjust a whole lot. And contrast with Florida, who came into the game plan of taking away Jordan Travis and Trey Benson, and they couldn't do it if you paid them money. Yeah. I mean, look Sh- at this. Shout out to Pokey Wilson on that last play too, man. Perimeter blocking has been awesome for Florida State all year, and that's a lot of white up in the middle. That's nine people in the box, true one-on-ones on the outside. One guy's chasing the motion, so he he's not. I mean, it's an eight man box for sure. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And they just run counter tray and oh, block it up, man. Look at that, McDonald. McDonald's angle. done a lot better. Florida, Florida pinches at the top, so you get the you get that block there, nice seal. You get a good kick. Yeah, that's a great I, block by by Robert Scott here. Yeah, they did great on that. And then good decisive hit the hole, score the touchdown. Come back next year, please. Trey Benson, automatic. Por favor. Por favor. <laughs> but they've been running that, uh, you know, they've been running that motion, the jet motion. So they've been setting this up. They've been running that jet motion. You've seen that jet motion lead recently, and now you come back with the counter tray off of it. Yeah, and they did a they did a lot of funky stuff with Micah Pittman in motion all game at the goal line. I hope the condense has it, but it was very good knowing that that's something that Florida's seen on film a lot. Yep. And have encounters off of it. Just good game planning. Tendency breakers. Up. Oh, AB's favorite. Fitzsimmons. Why are, we, why are we showing these? <laughs> Every point is sacred. Adam. It, this is actually a relevant kick return. Yeah, is this e, is this ETN? You know, yeah. he should transfer. He could yeah. He, yeah, he needs to go somewhere. He should go out <laughs> west. He seems like a kid that needs to go <laughs> Fitzgerald type though. Oh. Uh, the ETN this, family has something against Florida State personally. This play seems. has this play has something against me. This is gross, man. Is this a coverage okay. bust? Is this a guy getting burned in a one on one? What happens here? So this is actually kind of crafty uh, by Florida. I give them credit here. I, I don't know if they knew that this was going to be the matchup pre-snap, uh, but if they did, hats off to them. Um, so they, they go in motion here. And you can see that Florida State's in man coverage, but when this receiver crosses over, what happens is these guys switch. So it essentially switches the, the nickel corner, Kevin Knowles, who is, is not the best coverage guy onto their, their best wide receiver. So a little nifty motion here gets him not only on the move, but then having to reset and cover Ricky Pearsall, which who goes on a double move here. They almost got to him. I mean, it was max protect. They get, they, they show the ball play action. That's good game playing by Florida. Like you said, it's often football is really comes down to matchups a lot of the times, and they found their way yep. to get their one guy on. Florida, Florida found one on ones in the running game and in the passing game, and they were successful getting to them. Yeah. So, so on one hand, it's uh, let's see, what are they? What is Florida State doing with the safeties here? Can't you even can't tell. Really tell. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to tell. They, so they end, one of them ends up jumping the crosser. They yeah, end up you end up with two safeties kind of in the I same place. I, I don't think, think I don't think Shaheem, it's hard to tell. It's it seemed like Shaheem or Jamie, one of them were, were out of position a lot early in the first half. There was a lot of communicating. Jamie was wanting to be the guy that blitzed a couple times. They swapped spots. And uh, so I, I don't think that they were necessarily, you know, see Jamie jump it there. And then Shaheem also jumps it. So, yeah, I, I think I think Shaheem's probably a little bit to blame on that one. If if he's the other safety, yeah. Ugh. All right, we're back into the back in this little bunch set. Second and ten. 
and that was open all night. And uh, 88, he's he's really improved from a guy that we didn't know how much impact he was going to have this year. He was he's been clutch late in the season. Florida State obviously scouted this. They saw they were going to get these inside releases. I mean, this is this is good scouting on their part. Yeah, look this this corner jumps as if it's going to be a a screen. He's ready yep. to jump the screen pass. Yep. Oh well, look at that. It did. Uh, Portier, I want to call him Portier. I don't care how you pronounce it. I think it sounds way sweeter. Did he make like a little outside move to like fake a screen there? No, I actually think I think this is a hesitation. McDonald. I think McDonald kind of looks as if he's going to give a stock block for a second. No, Portier definitely he acts like he's going to block a little bit and then goes. You watch him right there and then he takes. Yeah, a little... he does a little skip step. FSU's good at that. FSU's good at baiting that type of stuff with their tight ends and their wide receivers. That's really nice to see. Yeah, I like the stack. I, I thought it did a good job, especially since it felt like your your tight ends were having a little bit of trouble blocking in the box. Kind of opens some space up. Jordan was off with his accuracy early. I mean, there's another throw. He missed a screen on the first drive. He misses Johnny later. It's a nice scramble. This is obviously he was elite at this all night. Oh, it was. I Can you guys think of a of a better display of his legs in like a primetime matchup. Like the runs that he hit, I mean, he didn't have his most yards per game, but the runs he hit were psychotic all night long. Yeah, no, I mean, I I think, yeah, I I think he was, this is the most aggressive he's been on the ground in a while. I think the stack, I think they also noticed that it it was forcing Florida to kind of keep too high Mm -hmm. um, to kind of cover these, these slants. And I, I think I don't know if this is a call draw or not. It, it probably is based off span. Uh, no, probably not. Um, I, don't I don't think so. He he's, he sees everybody turning and running, and he gets that outside pressure and just takes off. I mean, it's just a good good read on his part. Uh, just not quite physical enough there. He's got to trust that up inside. I think. Yeah, yeah, let's see that again. Gibbons, he, yeah, he I mean, cracks Gibbons that. Got it. It's not, it's not yeah. going to be a huge game, but he's got to trust that for one or two. Yeah, that's right. like a three-yard gain, you right? Just... be better at doing that. A little disappointing. Yeah, and we didn't see him a ton the rest of the night, so I'm sure that they were frustrated with that decision. Yeah, that's that's it's a little old toe of Philly coming back. A little concerns about yeah. wanting to be physical in the box. He He has gotten better, so. Um, this was an illegal formation. But they didn't catch it anyway, so right, Adam? It was a drop. Right, yeah. I'll say that this is a play I want to see them. Oof, man. <laughs> this play was open. <laughs> uh, so you, you can't see this, but there. so he's got a crosser, and it's actually wide open. Uh, JT just holds on to this ball entirely too long. It's open here. Um, and for whatever reason... JT just doesn't throw it until it's too late. But it was there early. He didn't see that guy at all. You know what, though, Kev? I mean, that's probably not where his eyes are first. That crosser is always the late where your eyes go late. I'm sure he's looking out at, out on the flank, working through his progressions, and then comes back to it. And that's why that's why Tradine's in a position to pick the ball because it's a late read. Yeah, it's hard to know with without knowing mm-hmm. the rest of the routes. All right, so they run counter here. They get them in a for, little bit of a formation. I think they've got them outnumbered over there big time when they run counter tray. Yeah, they do. So you're 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 basically hoping, as a Florida State defensive coordinator, you're hoping that your safeties uh, see this outside run and are able to kind of run the alley here. Mm-hmm. And then Peyton kind of gets to keep getting over the top there. I mean, that's tough for Peyton, right? But how do you think that he plays this? It's a little bit too passive, or there's just not much that he can do when there's two big, beefy guys. A little, too, little too passive. Little yeah, too you got to you gotta blow this up. You got to slow yeah. down the running back. He's coming and, then, and attack it. And then Deloge kind of gets, yeah, he kind of gets lost in the wash a little bit. Yeah, need him, need him to keep getting over the top right there. I mean, he's got to keep, he's got to keep going. He's improved. A l- little hesitant sometimes on the run fits, though, right? Still, then, guys. Didn't he? I mean, Renardo and Shaheem are, are just late. Yeah, I think specifically Shaheem. Shaheem's probably just over. 
Um, it was probably a knee jerk reaction to getting kind of beat deep earlier. He's st- sticking on this for a really long time. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. I mean, these are clear run keys. So there's probably three people that that kind of all played suboptimally to to let that play go. This is this, this is a play that disappoints the hell out of me. Ooh, it's like man, go, go, who go, got buried go off the front? Go get it. Yeah, number four. Go get it four. Kalen Deloach. Go get oh. it four. Yeah, that and our man they they buried our defensive our interior some of these plays which i mean really good offensive line that's what their scheme does with the double teams but you got this thing stopped for no gain like or one yard gain oh i had to at least get one yard look where they push love it dude go hit it yeah love it love it got knocked five yards he got buried bro (laughs) yeah which they double teamed him but like as as much as you want to I do think the linebackers are, are being a little passive here, or if not, they're being over aggressive. Like the loach folds into this gap here, but then you also see 95 here getting. Yeah. It's Malcolm Ray. One on one block three yeah. yards back. That's their left guard. Yeah. Florida's, well, we in, Florida's interior. Their offensive line. NFL caliber guard. And... Well, yeah, that's, you can. Florida State lost lost on the offensive and defensive lines a little bit. What's well, um, her left guard? the The NFL guy is the right guard, right? Adam? Yeah, that was the right guard against Lovett. Sorry. Yeah, well, yeah. Then the other the guy Kevin pointed out, and then just what happens here? They, they got them with some of that bunch stuff. Some of their adjustments. They got you know forcing them to get their two linebackers out of the box, and this is probably on Deloach or the safety. Although it looks like Cooper's passing this off to the safety, so. Maybe it's on Cooper. It's definitely on Burst because he's got a. Stable. Yeah, does he have to redirect? Like, what happens when the well, tight end not, comes he's across? Not redirect the tight end, but. But I mean, like, hit him or. You wouldn't no? mind. Yeah, you wouldn't mind him getting a piece of it. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Just, but he's got to he, stay home a little bit. I mean, he can't get that far down the line. Even without making contact with Odom, their tight end. I mean, he he plays ATN hard. Like if Richardson, like. He had him on the run too. I I love verse, but I think he trusts his athleticism sometimes a little bit too much. Probably needs to play his assignment a little bit more consistently. You guys mm-hmm. agree with that? Yeah, yeah, especially right, especially right there. It's hard to know who's supposed to have him in coverage. Um, there's a chance that Cooper has the underneath the zone here, but feels like the safety's not picking up this deep route, and so he takes him on his own. So that's possible. It's possible that one of the linebackers got sucked up too hard. It's possible that Jared Verse was actually supposed to peel off here. It's kind of hard to tell. They, they, not having Akeem Dent was a big issue. Yeah, yeah, it really that's, was. That's and, and it becomes even, an even bigger issue as time goes on. Yeah. Yep. Not that Shaheen Brown's not going to be a really good player. Like I think that the sky's the limit, and he gets more comfortable and kind of gets himself – Get some things figured out as this game is going on. But it's early. It's, early, it's a problem. I mean, through the first yeah. quarter, it was a big time issue, and people were firing at him fuller at this point. And it's like you're you're hamstrung when you got a guy out there that you can't do a whole lot with, and he's constantly out of position. And they're attacking him, like they're going at him. They're going at him in the run game, they're putting him in conflict. Like, what do you tell you do? Well, I, for the safeties, yeah, but like, it, is there some truth to the criticism of a guy like Kevin Knowles who played pretty good last year? He's regressed, and you oh, had him out sure. on the field. Like, for there's, sure. there is. So, I agree with you. I think that, I think that the criticism was very vehement, um, especially when you look at the whole body of work. But there, there were some legitimate points, man. There's been some guys on this defense in the secondary that have regressed. That, that's yeah, not but a regression. There, right there are there. guys that have, I mean, impressed, right? Grady yeah. Vance looked good. Yeah, Darian yeah. Jones, Akeem yeah, Dent, you're 100 the same right. player as he was under Taggart. You're 100 percent right. That's a, that's a good point. Like, it's not it's not just all negatives without positives. There's there's a whole lot of data points out there. Good you point. Johnny started doing this a little more. So Florida often. is terrified of the run game to the point where it's third third and five, and they have one deep safety here, leaving Johnny Wilson on an island to run a kind of a skinny post right inside the inside shoulder of that corner and stay vertical to keep away from the safety. Man, that's a good nice. throw. Yeah, a really good throw, throw, good catch. 
he starts doing this more consistently, then then you can start talking about him being a number one. Who? He's, Johnny, Johnny yeah. Uh, He's got it in him. He's got it in him. Our little RPO game. Yep, that's all that is. Just the, the Tate RPO? Yeah, very Florida, similar. Florida Probably reading this guy. There. What, what is their corner doing? Yeah. He's in his own drop to nowhere. I guess Oof. they might be in some sort of cover two. But he comes, sprints up, and then I don't know. Cover two. Trying to show blitz. You don't have to laugh at that. You don't have to laugh at that. was a top two dad <laughs> joke. But thank you, Kevin. You're, you're right or die. I appreciate that. Hold on, I missed something. I said cover poo, Adam, because no. I played like, <laughs> Sorry I played like shh. But That's notice okay, this. So earlier I said that they were they were doing some sort of um, gap exchange for this defensive end bites hard and they have someone to replace them on the outside. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can see that they're going to, instead of pulling this tight end, they're going to have him come forward as the as the lead blocker for Jordan Travis. Yeah. So he's still making this read, but now they've got an extra blocker to account for that gap exchange safety and and that leads to a big run. That's nice too. And I think the one where they they blew it up too, we were running it out of that stack set. So you had McDonald mm-hmm. there who's blocking is improved and my God, look at that play. Yeah, God, I think I, so I think sick. the tight end I think the 12 personnel here is actually key because it balances the formation up and forces them to rotate a guy to the field so they don't have the extra player. Oh, and Micah. Micah, hands up, not going to negate the play. Roll, they've been able to roll an extra safety down over on this side. Now they just have <laughs> the one guy. They've got it. They've got to account for all the gaps to the left, to the field. Yep. Okay. If I were to guess, they called this base. The side of this run was dependent on which side this, this safety rolled down into. Yeah, probably. Force player. An easier block for your tight end. Good block a safety block. and a linebacker. Then, oh, Mike is just getting in front of him. Jordan, just spaghetti leg special, man. <laughs> Whoa, God, the runs were spectacular. What an awesome environment it was. Oh, I love Poitier doing the chop. He, he, was, he, was, he was rival chopping all night, man. I like that kid. Yeah, he's, he's worked his tail off, and um, it feels like he's biding his time. <gasps> ah, Jordan, you got to come back, brother. Ooh, Adam's favorite. Mm. He straight and true Adam Fitzsimmons with another point. <laughs> <laughs> they love it when you call him the wrong name. Uh, <laughs> like, guys, I do it out of love, man. Poor bit. It's good coverage. Yeah. Vance is there, though. Yeah. That's not an easy route to cover. That's one of Florida's go to routes. They like to run that little 15 yard hitch. I think they called PI on him there, too. Yeah, they did. He held him a little bit, but I, I didn't yeah. really think it was worth it. Nice pick. That was nice. Jerry and jumping her out. Very Jerry and nice. Jones having a great game. It's a god awful throw, but it, it, it was. It, it, I don't know what he was saying. That yeah. kid, man, when you when you just speed up that clock just a little bit more, which is why I'm so glad that they did some variation in the aggressiveness. He really is two different quarterbacks. It's it's crazy. Here's a pick off his own coverage, it looks like. I think they're maybe in some kind of match quarters. Mm. Maybe they're in man. No, they're in, I think they're in... Sh- the only mm. reason I say that is because uh, Lundy's in a zone. He's doing a zone thing that they tend to do with cover four mm. where he collisions and runs to yeah, the side. Yeah. So it'd be kind of odd to do man one side and a match, match quarters thing the other side. Good play by Jerry, but yeah, Adam, you're right. That throw just sucks pretty bad. All right, on to offense. <laughs> Not trying to take credit away from him. He no, no, up. man. Great play. Ugh, stonewalled. Yeah, yeah, so. Getting beat up up front. I mean, Meech gets destroyed by Gervin Dexter. Yeah, they reset the line of yard. This is, I mean, this is why you've probably heard us. Uh, I know they talked about it on the instant, but I mean, Florida's lines right now are just just a half step better than Florida State's. Right, Fl- Nicole. FSU's playing above their talent level, but you guys saw in the trenches tonight. I mean, the team is this successful, and they're not where they want to be on both sides of the ball yet. 
Agreed. No, so. and assuming Atkins stays around, this offensive line has a really bright future. God, it's a great call in third and seven. Run outside zone, they're played back. Yeah, they're kind of sitting in a softer zone here. Or maybe, man, hard to tell. And, and it's four down territory anyway. Mm-hmm. Why not? Yep. Like he's Whitford on fourth and 12. We've seen them yeah. do that a few times. Call call third down runs in that situation. And it's one of the reasons why you're able to get a one-on-one with Johnny Wilson earlier on a third and five. And a much better run by Toa. Was that Toa Feely there? Yeah. Bouncing yeah. back from his poor run earlier. So that's good. Good to Touch see. Ball. Yeah, another drop. And then <laughs> that was a good fart noise. Um, yeah, that was perfectly timed. Cotton. Uh, he really wanted some points after that turnover. So Especially this, with that. This diamond set's able to get. It's kind of funny because Florida State ran a ton of these diamond sets against Florida last year. Um, but now, now the flip is script. The script is flipped a little bit. Mm-hmm. They're able to get a, a one-on-one on a crosser. And on a certain level, this is Jamie getting beat. But on another level, you got to get a little bit of pressure. He's back here for a good amount of time. Florida State's defensive line, not very disruptive. No, but Florida's line, I mean, they, they're the least good. pressured team in the country. Like, I mean, that, you knew that that was going to be the case. And they were the least pressured team in the country, and they play LSU and Georgia. and They, they played some good defensive lines, some really good defensive lines. Yep, ton of time, million years, <laughs> and that's oh god, you can't really see it. Maybe you can. Um, they block so a little here, pressure there. They just they have man coverage. There's one deep safety. They roll down into into kind of what looks like a robber look, where Jamie's kind of playing this middle area to take away any sort of slants or yeah. maybe spy. Um, Richardson, and that just means he's got man coverage on Kevin Knowles with one deep safety. And Kevin Knowles hey, we gets bring, beat. We bring real a blitz. Quick. I mean, they bring they bring Gant, uh, Gant just doesn't. Yeah, get there. to everybody thinks that just bringing a blitz Oof. was the secret to, to beating <laughs> Florida. No man, that center stonewalled that. The running back didn't even have to hit anybody in pass protection there. That's that's, that's just it's good offense, coverage, man. Right? I mean, yeah. It's really good offense, good design to get the matchup you want, and then really good execution, and they just beat you. Yeah, you could tell that they were just trying to get Pierce Hall and Kevin Knowles, and they took advantage of it. And I don't care if you keep two safeties here. This is hard to defend. And, like, okay, so this is this is the, the key to the problem. People, people I, I, I don't want to belabor the point too much, but people all have been saying, Oh, as soon as you pressured him, why did it take you a half to blitz him? Fire Fuller. I mean, they're blitzing him. They're they're doing what they can. Kevin Knowles gets beat pretty much immediately. So I'd like to see why the blitz has got there in the second half as opposed to the first half. So I I I have watched forward ahead of ahead of that, and there, there's a decent answer to that question, but I guess Ooh, we'll get there. Stay with us. Oh God! You really don't have to show there. You don't have to show their kicks. That's true. They were so off. I, Who was? I didn't understand this. What they were doing? Yeah, I don't get this. But this they brought. I mean, Florida blitzed every play. I mean, they were bringing as much as they could. They didn't want to give up explosives, and it's like they off coveraged themselves into explosives because. <laughs> Hello. Look at all that space, dude. Yeah, that Hello. was like a prevent Fly. defense. Like, there's not anybody within a mile of him. I guess That's first just an angle route. The first did three. They thought I they, maybe they, Desmond I, Watson was supposed to drop. Maybe he should have been in zone coverage there. No, I just think it was either a bad call or a bust by their defense. He caught him in a great play. Oh, keeping the play alive, dude. Oh, all night clutch yeah hard enough something was downfield open but when you can get 10 yards a pop it's hard to complain sprinting at the back again same stuff we saw Great earlier camera. this time they account for the overhang with micah Pittman. yeah so that's exactly what i was going to say instead of 
having an un a tight end block the block the uh, gap exchange guy. They have Micah Pittman block the gap exchange guy. The overhang, as as AB just said, so you can see the safeties coming down to get Jordan Travis in case he pulls it, which they're hoping he does. But you then have someone to block him. He does a good job. Well, that kind of backfired in their face all night, didn't it, boys? They had to stop doing the gap exchange stuff because you're killing them with uh, you're killing them with the front side runs. The oh whole sprint God. at the running back wasn't working. How the it. hell? Speaking of how runs, did holy. he do that, dude? And that's <laughs> a touchdown. I don't care what they say. Freaking touchdown. Yeah, it's, it was the dumbest, the initial slide rule thing. Ah, it's, that's gar <laughs> such garbage, man. He's trying to oh, avoid no, getting the decapitated. They, down. they, they said just said his knee was down at the one, which it was. It was there. Nah, I disagree. Touchdown. Touchdown. <laughs> it screwed up Jordan's YPC. I don't like it. Mm. He was special. Were they saying that this knee was down? It yes. was his right. It, knee. it was. It was. Uh, I. You know what? I. Who knows? They should have. They should have. They should have touched like the ground. A call a different angle, in my opinion. Should. I. I'm with you, Kevin. That's that. That's that SEC bias, brother. It doesn't matter. <laughs> they don't touch him at the goal line anyway. <laughs> yeah, they're still. They're still rushing at the running back and. Wyatt Rector, nice block. Yeah, that's on Daniel coming around leading. Hey. Would you guys have thought last year that a team playing Florida State would say, hey, we want you to dare Jordan Travis to run the ball because we think we can stop your explosive running game when he's the primary ball carrier? And I don't I don't doubt uh, Florida's defensive game plan for that, but isn't that crazy? Like coming from oh, last yeah. year oh, to yeah. this year? Absolutely. This seems come to be a long on. way. I mean, and it, a lot of it has to do with the offensive line. And they're able to get on people, get a hat on a hat, and not just get destroyed. Ugh, what happened? All right, run there? this back. Yeah, and first this of is all, unfair. This isn't even fair, this formation. So they've got the they've got the they got the nasty split up top. Yeah. So they've got a tight uh, they've got a Y tight end up top with his hand in the dirt, and they've got an H back splitting him. So he's probably at like a two yard split. Then you got the receiver, and I'm pretty sure that might be another tight end out there. He's a big dude. <sighs> Jim, many Christmas. Look at those gaps. One, two, three, four, five. Florida State's got to keep two safeties back just because they don't trust these guys to not just get beat on the outside still. Um, still, you'd like to see Lundy be a little bit more aggressive here. Kind of catches this. And they just run uh, ISO at it because of the split yeah. and uh, another salary. instance, too, Adam or Kevin, if you get Florida State's linebackers kind of absorb the contact of the block rather mm -hmm. than like delivering the blow and trying to shed it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, like they do it again, too, man. It's very, it's kind of passive, right? What the hell are you going to do here? How are you defending <sighs> this? But you're also kind of outgapped here. You still have two, two, two safeties. Um, I think if we were able to see the other angle you would truly be outgapped here and you need one of these safeties to come up and make this tackle. You're not a gap there. Oh I mean, God. Is, that, that defensive tackle gets abused. These yes, double sir. teams. Look at this double team. I mean, they yeah. got eight blockers. You've got eight defenders. I don't care how many defenders they've got on that side of the football. On this they've side, got, they've got yeah that side. But he's playing. One, he two. goes immediately to this backside a gap for some well, reason. That's just because he goes the wrong place. That's because he's got a double team sitting in his lap. Well, he needs to fight to the B gap. If he needs to know that there ain't no fight to that B gap, not with he that. Fight right now. No, I, I think he kind of not, with, not when the ball starts to the left. He can't. He can't go to the B gap when the ball starts to the left. He has to respect that the ball is gonna the ball is gonna pop in that front side A. Well, then you need someone for this backside B, and that's it's where it's him. Would come it's in. him. It is him. So he's got to play the. The A and the you're I always going to play more than one gap. You don't. You're never just playing one gap. Well, he needs. He can't. Not with a freaking. Are you? I mean, is there anything that the defensive tackles could have done when you're getting double team like that? I mean, yeah, Adam, you know, technique is. Say, I'm, I'm ha well, I'm can you can you try to knife in and down. like in in between and try to make a mess of it at least pull as down, opposed pull to down on top of you. Exactly. Yeah, you that's kind of what I mean. Five yards in the backfield. All and right, and then, is, and then, there's no defense in the world that's going to do anything against that. 
Yeah, the backup defensive tackles were. That's putrid. <sighs> yeah. I mean, this is better. Yeah, give you a better look who's on. in. Look who's in, though, right? That's the first yeah. team. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so good. Yeah, they hold up at the line of attack. And then it's like, man, you got to. Come on, guys. Third and seven. You got to make that play at the line of scrimmage, though, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, that's, that's a little bit on Jamie. <sighs> Jamie didn't play well. But ETN ETN's probably one of the harder running backs to take down in the He's country. Tough as the nails. dude's a yeah. friggin' it's, I I like I mean I like Florida's game plan, man. I like what they did. I really did. They really utilized their strengths very well. There you see Jamie coming. And here, here's some credit for Kevin Knowles. He's there. In coverage. That was caught, some right? strong credit there, Kev. Yeah. <laughs> that was some really <laughs> Who's present? Well, there was a there was a safety pressure, right? Yep, yep. Almost gets there. Yeah, bring in that safety. <clears throat> McClendon, McClendon kind of gets there, and makes a little contact. <sighs> Perfect <sighs> throw. Yeah, tier has got to catch that. There was a throw too, man. I don't know if it was in the first half or the second. Johnny Wilson in the end zone. I would have liked him to catch one of them. Yeah, Johnny didn't have a good game. He dropped several passes he shouldn't have. I just, I would have much, ra- I would have much rather liked to see that than some of those extra points, like a dropped, a dropped touchdown in the end zone. <laughs> like, <laughs> I sound like Adam. <laughs> and I think yeah. they said this was the only negative play of the first half, mm-hmm. which just shows you how much Florida ate your lunch in the first half offensively. Bethune, I mean, he comes downhill finally. Yep. McClendon does a nice job setting an edge. Malcolm yeah, both Ray the defensive tackles front side do a good job of forcing. Honestly, this, this is one of the this is one of the few like true outside zone runs where it was one on one, and they focus so much on double teams the whole first half or throughout the whole game really, and they were able to keep their double teams because of all the because of the formations they were running. Start of the third quarter. Let's see what's different. Because Florida State got like three three and outs in a row, I think. And it allowed them to own the third quarter and come back and take control of the game. In the first half, just bringing that pressure off the end. It's nothing nothing revolutionary. It's nothing that they didn't do in the first half. They also play more of a five-man type line with Lundy up on the line of scrimmage, which which helped a lot. (sighs) Nice, tough catch. <laughs> Good throw. Yeah, that's what Pitt was... Pittman brings. He catches those passes that no one was catching last season. No, he's a third down conversion machine. And oh, tough, tough run. run. I'm glad they showed that. Boom. That's a Get good off. play by, by number two for Florida. Into the open gap. But man, oh, no, you got to get that yard. Preston Daniel with a catch on third and nine. Yeah, they like those Imagine little curl routes. Third and nine going to Preston Daniel. It's Cajones. They, yeah, he did. I mean, <laughs> I don't even mean that as a slight to him. No, like, I know that. It's just that you've gotten. It's the personnel that you've got too. It's just that that's another room that they're going to have to develop a little bit more. Ooh. And then oh, uh, well. Jordan just did Good it night. himself, man. Pump fake. Shoot. Oh, and just I just do not get this choice of keeping keeping two safeties back, and having Ugh. your having oh, your defensive Dexter. tackle spy. That was Dexter. Yeah. Oh god. He, <laughs> he, <laughs> he's spying Jordan Travis. Can't, he, poor Four. guy. He, nine can't do nothing on that. I can tell you right now, if I saw Fabian Lovett spying Malik Cunningham, I'd be pretty pissed. Yeah. What happens here? Off a bad throw or what? Ooh, yeah, that's, that's a tight cool. window. I don't know if that's yeah, a great choice. I think it's a bad more than a bad throw. I really wanted to give Florida that pick. It's a big play. Finally a kick that matters. <laughs> and he yeah, bounces and he... back. Fitzsimmons, the return of the Highlander. Phenomenal. I yeah, think Billy, he kind of got injured, to too. On that yeah, I think, I think he kicked his leg out, man. That was a, that was a fairly... Oh, good. Oof, oof, man. So 
I think this is kind of a big thing. They were just more blatant about bringing bringing pressures, being more aggressive um, in the second half, kind of overloading the line, simplifying it to get one on ones. Shaheem Brown doing a good job of spying. Yeah, that five man walked up front, guys. Like you said, just trying to what eliminate the double teams or giving the blitzer like a gap to shoot through through the double team. Does that force one on one blocks at them when they do that? Like how would well, Louisiana scheme deal or not? Louis, whatever. Yeah, yes. deal with it. Whatever. Yes. Hopefully, we get a look at a formation where we can talk about it in the run game. I mean, the pass oh. game. Yeah, you're you're forcing them to account who's got man, who's got man. And then you had an extra extra player there, so you're just more counting on your. You're hoping somebody wins a battle, but you're counting on Anthony Richardson has nowhere to go because you've got him bottled up. I remember this play, Marvin. Marvin, oh, I guess it's the next one. Marvin Jones had a longer split screen than I remember. Still, that's a nice outside zone run. <laughs> okay, this is the one. I'm gonna put my hands up again. But you're also you're also aware that Florida's still probably gap exchanging on this on this give. So there's a good chance that one of these linebackers kind of runs himself out of this play here, yeah, especially when you see the one high. I mean, the one high is a dead giveaway. When, with a safety in the middle of the field. Oh, makes a miss in the backfield. Very nice run, Trey. Yeah, you did you did force them to go one high. They were they were in two high in, against this formation all in the first half. Now they're gonna be a little bit more aggressive. And that Come leads on. to a big play. Come on. Yes, it does. I have my hands up. Oh, Malik McLean. Nice catch. That's your guy, huh? Huh? No, I just I knew it was coming because I did the I did, I did the highlight show and I remember this play. I just knew you it was shot coming. At him out, you shot at him out pretty hard on the instant too. I don't, I don't know. I like him, man. I got a double uno. I, I respect man. it. I like my wife's basketball too. number. He throws oh, they're not the going to show the good angle. Yeah, why yeah. would they? There's an extra point to be shown later. Um, X gonna <laughs> give it to you. So they they ran like a crosser to occupy the safety, giving a one on one. On a deep post, which is it's what we've seen Florida State get killed by you for years and years. Yep, it's a right. cover four killer, but you can also attack a cover three mm -hmm. yeah. with it. Same concept. Taste of your own rat poison. Nice throw, Jordan. Oh, anybody, th anybody who does the throat slash or throws up the X's, I'm a big fan. <laughs> Malik kind of does it as like finger guns with it, so I I'm a huge fan of that. <laughs> okay, we got to rate people based off their celebration. How do you feel about Treshawn Ward pulling Hammy? I don't like that. I'm too old school. That scares me. I actually thought he was injured for a while. <laughs> so they finally get to it here, sprinting the sprinting the end at the back. This feels like a misread by Jordan Travis. Uh, They're doing they, got, the they, they got a lot of people accounting for him though on that See, side, right? No, I, no, I think you're right, Kev. I mean, the defensive it's the same thing. They've got him blocked. They've got him blocked. Oh and yeah, good call. It would he's just be a, him one-on-one. He's got a, one -on -one he's got a hat on a hat there. He's gonna have to make a move on the on the on the safety or the nickel that's coming with it. But oh, and Pittman yeah. gets a nice. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you're 100 right. Yeah, I think you missed the read. The rare missed read by Jordan Travis in the run game. He's been a little bit more conservative. He's been more aggressive at the as the Ooh. end year goes on, but early on in the year he was kind of conservative Dude, about pulling. Oh, man, one of the more impressive one yard runs you'll see. Oh, poor number nine, dude. <laughs> like, he does a good number nine does a good job here, though. Oh, he's a hell of an athlete. <laughs> it's just he's Jordan, man. Uh, yeah, Dexter's a very good player. All right, give him a dose of their own medicine with the bunch sets. Had been running a fair few of those. Uh, uh, turn on the jets. Cow. Well, <laughs> good slide rule. I feel like that'd Bro. be called for targeting if it was Florida State. That seems like it's a kill shot. Wait, yeah, so if it's a slide, you also can't try to decapitate him, right? I mean, pick pick your rule. Now, oh. they were worried about him fake sliding and running for another yard for a touchdown. Oh, I thought that was going to be like a little Giants thing where the, the, the Cowboys defender was going to come up with the kid's helmet, man. That was scary. And this is sick. What a sick play. Oh, you're going to hand it off to Jakarta? Nope. And Preston nice. Daniel. Because you Wonderful. had shown earlier this drive, this is third down. You hadn't been able to knock it in first and second, just run it up the gut. Goes back to what we're saying. You were losing. You were losing the line of scrimmage to the to Florida. Uh, it's just a little scheming around that. 
And it it's, it goes off of what you've done all year. That's a handoff to Micah Pittman or Ja'Kai Douglas in that situation multiple times throughout the year, and you scheme that little pitch off it, man. That's just great stuff. I loved it. I loved it when I saw it live. Loved it. Can't believe in a close game they would pitch the oh, ball. Oh, Fitzsimmons, the dude. What a, what a gritty PAT there. <laughs> it was. His leg was hurting. I'm not laughing at you. I was laughing at Kev. Oh, okay. look at they- Brown. They probably won't show this replay, which is so upsetting to me. Raheem Brown is in the middle of the field here. Um, there, there are two teams that can run pure man free and get away with it on third and 13, and that's good teams and dumb teams. <laughs> what are we? It's mostly because you don't want to leave you your corners on these islands or you're now you have a free safety that's playing the entire width of the field. And the fact that he makes a play on this that's impressive. Yeah, it's uh, it's it reminds me of some range. Know, Kyle Hamilton. I remember that. I mean if it was Kyle Hamilton play. he would pick that off and bring it back, but no, he's I know step below the, Kyle Hamilton. That's still pretty good, right? It just reminds me of that Notre Dame play. And good job getting pressure on the punter. I guess it didn't really matter. It didn't matter that much cuz that kid's got a boot, but yeah, that punter was good. Yeah, they have Florida always has good kickers and punters. Shut up, Wingo. Okay, they just Oh, I know why they did this because they were like doing some segment in the middle of the game and they actually missed the first half of this play. Ugh well on the game wide, broadcast. It was wide open. Wow, what a run, Cam. So this is the old Y the old Y Y release. He checks out late. Yeah. They, they were no all ideas. vertical, right? They, it was all wor- verticals, yep. right, Adam? Mm-hmm. They just cleared out. Same kind of stuff they did with the uh, Trey Benson earlier on the angle route. They just ran that's, everybody off. and That's a Miami secondary tackling. Oh, my God. And we were cooking, dude. This third quarter was a dream. Yeah, you, you call one of that when you think they're like green dog blitzing when they mm-hmm. – they'll blitz when they, they see you blocking. Or and so they need to pretend to block should have had the should have had the touchdown from preston daniel but got cheated bunch of cheaters cheaters in white don't worry gives us one of our greatest celebrations trot oh dude this he did show exactly it, what it, i thought he did it, right show it boom, boom. Ski. Ah! <laughs> ah, ski, 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 ski. <laughs> Uh, I this is him, the one dude. we get all 22 for. The one where we already could have seen the all 22. Freaking crossing route. <laughs> Did I mention I was a fan of certain celebrations? Because <laughs> that one's up there too, boys. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the most innovative play ever for Brock uh, Osweiler too. He was he... so orgasmic over that play. Yeah, he's got he's a fun commentator. Yeah, sorry yeah, about yeah, that. He was a lot yeah. of fun. <laughs> oh, this play. Come on, Lundy. Stop. All right, let's run it back to the beginning so we can look at the formation. So this is what they get a good look at it. This is well, this In was some face. of the adjustment that they made. So we saw this earlier. They had just the safety out there. Now you see, I'm sorry, is it not one? Is it who's out there? Is that Leonard Warner? Is it Warner? Might might be Warner up on the edge. Up here? Yeah, maybe it is Leonard Warner. I think that's Tatum. Or is it Bethune? Yeah, I think that's Tatum Bethune. Okay. I see a five. Yeah, they they give you a five-man surface up front now. So it does take away some of the... It takes away some of the um, the double teams. Some of the double teams. So you've got a you've got a. It's either a, it looks like a true nose. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, farmers playing you those. Got a, you got a head up on the head up on the tackle. You've got an inside shade or an outside shade on the guards. So you got a three tech here at the bottom of the screen. So as far as double teams go, you're taking some of that away for right. Florida. This was important because through this half. Florida, A, had to throw the ball more because they didn't get the service that they wanted. And they also were in longer yardage uh, situations on third down. Man, Lundy's just running himself out, or Dillard's running himself out of the play there. 
All right, so who is it? I'm trying to see who it is. It must be. It must be Bethune. Either way, right? He can't get. Can't get buried. He's got to be. He's got to be content with that ball fitting inside. Because if who? you see this Deloach? ball fits, this ball fits inside of of Bethune up top here. It's just the ISO that they ran earlier. No biggie. Right. The ball is going to fit inside of that, which is what they want. And Renardo Green's there to make the tackle. But he goes, he gets nosy, ducks his head. Mm, and he gets buried right at the end. Yep. And it's it off also, the gate. It also feels a little bit like Tatum Bethune holds. He does a good job of setting the edge here. Mm -hmm. But then he sheds it too early and doesn't make the tackle which abandons the edge. Well, yeah, because if, if you, if you, you pause it, the gets, frame, yeah, oh, if you yeah. pause the he, frame he right the there, <laughs> yeah, it looks like Florida State's going to bottle that up. And then, yeah, it's, then gets he's got to bottle up. If he keeps his outside arm free here, that ball bounces, he makes the play, but he gets uh, nosy, sticks his head inside. He gets buried. Green falls yeah. off of it because Etienne's a talented runner. Yeah, this seems like it's on Bethune to me, um, but he also seems like he gets tackled there. So. Hard to yeah. tell. Oh, and then Jamie just kind another of trips, example yeah. of Adam Fuller made good adjustments. Got to execute too, boys. Yeah, football plays happen. I guess. Yeah. I mean, and then a, a Jamie I mean, Robinson is, stumble against ATN adds another like ten yards to yeah. it. So, oh, and the, God, I mean, this guys. nonsense. He's out here it, spinning around like a freaking top. He's a powerful runner, man. Oh yeah, he is. Oh, this kid's. Arguably the most talented, talented kid in in football right now, just in terms of Talent. body composition. He's like Zion Williamson, where he's raw as all get out, but he's friggin'. I mean, I mean, look at this guy. Yeah, there's no way he likes etouffee as much as Zion, though. <laughs> Is Zion a big etouffee <laughs> guy? I don't know. He's from New Orleans, and he kind of likes to get fat during the off season. So I'm just guessing. <laughs> I'm using. I'm, I'm just. I'm making an inference there, guys. Is he from New Orleans? No, he That's plays there. He's, he's a Pelican. He's a Pelican. He's a Canadian, actually. Okay. So they get this motion. They clear out the box. Florida State has two guys chasing this motion. Oof! And oh, the, man, they. They sh they shed the block for sixty five. All things considered, they they fight through this, and that's just a big man. You ain't making that play. Yeah, he's yeah. always going to gain yards on that, no matter what. But they hold him. I th yep. oh man, this is the goal line stand that never ends, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yeah, we're entering the thick of it. Fourth and one. Oh come on. So you see that five man surface again? Yep. Um. So let's let's look to see what what kind of double teams we get and how. Absolutely none. They get yeah. a sport zone. Center yeah. gets up to the second level pretty good. I mean, they get a one on one with your linebacker. That's essentially what this is going to be. No, they just send. I mean, they just actually block you. I mean, really, that's. That's really impressive offensive line play. They get a hat on everybody, and they just block you. Yep, across the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I'm in mean, a hard run. You want to look I, at why they were successful run that back again. I mean, if you want to know why Florida was that's successful. That's what Kitten it too, man. That's what yeah. Richardson's not even in the game. If you want to know why Florida was good and had good offense on the night, that's elite. That's a damn good running game right there. Yeah, like when they can do that and then beat you in one every time you give them a one on one matchup through the air. I don't know what you're supposed to do. That's hard to stop. Yeah, you gotta get you gotta get better players. Yeah, I mean, we made we made some plays, but the, the, yeah, these and, were few and far between. No, not a lot of negatives on the night for sure. But this is a great goal line stand, and right here, it's just you, you gotta bleed clock, gotta keep keep them going. I don't even think the kid got in on the touchdown they gave him. To be honest, no, I didn't think so either. I thought they just gave it to him, which is what made the ETN like bust for a touchdown run so much more disappointing because it took no time off the clock. Yeah, send it back. <laughs> it oh, never well time ended. blitz. I think that's one it's big thing cool. that they haven't shown us because uh, they're not going to show like the first and second downs 
they timed their blitzes really well. So what mm -hmm. what you need to do against this Florida team, if he sees your blitzing, if if he's got a check to to hit Pearsall on some sort of man beater, um, but if you can disguise the blitz, you can get that extra hat in the box and and kind of trick him into the into running into the box. Oh, that timing is sick too. Oof, man, that running back hit Jamie pretty good though. Yeah, I don't know about PI. Yeah, there's the touchdown. No, Unequivocal. So. We're gonna yeah, overturn yeah. two other touchdowns, but that's no doubt. Hate those refs. Say, man, this is where you need to take some time off the clock, and you got smoked. Yeah, this is mostly Jazz getting beat off the end. They kind of give that wide wide nine look that Wake Forest was so successful with. The edge there. Oh, man, and they got pressure up the middle, too. That, that play was dead to rights. Do you agree, Adam? Uh, yeah, and, you know, I was frustrated with Mike on that call for having the tight end out there because I felt like you put them in a bad position because you gave them that wide rush. And what, they were kind of doing something weird with it where they were chipping this in before they went downfield. But by chipping the end, they almost made them bounce out wider. Made it not any easier on their on their tackles. Well, that's a nice yes. bend by the Florida defensive end. Yeah. Almost caused a net. I mean, he did fumble it, didn't he? But he just got it back on top of it. Yeah, he did. Oh, that would have been disaster. I guess not that it matter anyway. They got a touchdown later. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, he didn't even chip him there. Yeah, he just smoked jazz. I mean, the whole offensive line got beat on that one. Yeah, there's still some growth to be made on this offensive line. Um, I think I think there's some. It was easy to convince ourselves this offensive line was was good after the the last five game stretch. Um, and I still think that they are good, but they're product. They're pro it's weird because they're productive, and obviously a component of that is them, and a component of that is the scheme and the game planning. Yeah, they. And this just sucks, dude. What happened? I mean, this here? is just all you get screwed here. They quick they quick snap you. Cindy Williams has been playing linebacker, same set. You're trying to get up into the. You're trying to get up into your five man line. Sydney Williams just doesn't know where to be. And Deloach has turned around trying to communicate with him. Yep. So he's slow to fire. It means that this block happens downfield, meaning that it makes it harder for Williams to fill this gap. And they both end up filling the same gap. So I don't know if any of that's on Deloach. If he needs to go inside here, knowing that Williams has the outside gap. He's also putting in his mouthpiece as the, after the ball's already snapped. So they just, they got you. Right. So if he, if he takes his inside shoulder, you would think it allows these other two to fill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the load might be wrong here. Yeah, me too. He didn't have a great night. No, he didn't. No, no. And they, they ISO him a lot in the running game, and that's his strength is is in pass coverage. He's still got room to grow as a uh, run fitter. Yeah, I think I think both the uh, both well all all of the linebackers do on some level. Um, the good news yes. is that they are are much better in pass coverage. To Doesn't the point where me. I think that's one of the main reasons why your pass defense is as good as it Oof, is. But who fell there, Versus Jamie. Clinton. Oh God, yeah, man, get some different cleats, my man. Not that he would have. I don't know if it would have mattered anyway. But yeah, that's why. That's why I was so frustrated with that. They caught you. They they quick snapped you. The personnel, some poor choices, and it was <laughs> it was the exact opposite of the touchdown drive before. You needed to bleed some clock, and I, I was getting a smidgen nervous here, fellas. What happens here? Oh, Robert Scott just gets whooped. And this is the perfect look, too. You got five in the box, maybe six if he's cheating down. What do they do with this backside defensive end? Okay, they slow play it. So they're trying to give it to you and hope that you run into this extra man here. 
Robert Scott just just loses him. Yeah, it's tough. And that's the kind of thing that Florida State missed in the first half. Florida State was not getting the defensive tackles making plays like that. Oh, that's a big boy play. Huge. Yeah, it's only showing it's only showing the good plays by Johnny. Um, Gate, yeah, he. I mean, we we all remember, but it, he shows up when he needs to. Man, that was that's a huge play on third and six, and then Jordan just doing it himself. Oh, they called him down there, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the same thing we're talking about. This is called mm -hmm. a, a a bluff. So mm -hmm. it's a bluff because usually this guy pulls over to block this defensive end in like a split zone type thing or a counter. But he's going to bluff block him, pull around, and block the safety that's accounting for Jordan Travis. Yep. I guess oh. the linebacker. He blocks good both. Good design, though. <laughs> good design. Sucks that it got taken down. Bluff split zone. Down. They've got bubble working on the at, on the front side. Is that? Yeah. Probably even has numbers up there. They did. Well, uh, ball don't lie, and no, it doesn't, dude. Shout out Rashid. Catch Florida kind of in the same predicament where they're not ready for the snap. Oh yeah, in your face, Gators. How about that? <clears throat> Very similar thing. Ah, oh, Benson, come on, baby. He's only gotten stronger as the season's gone on. I can't wait for another nice if he stays. Like Another strength and conditioning offseason with him in this offense. Just a nasty weapon. So what do we got? Counter? Ugh. Like I just said. Nope. Yeah, that's Florida's nope. just soft here. No. Nope. They're gassed at this point. I mean, they're just yeah. dead. You get a hat for a hat plus yep. one. <laughs> Good and it's the Preston same Daniel. it's the same defensive line that has has nutted yeah. up multiple times and made your See, offensive line look foolish but but they've got this in them too our offensive line does to just wear on a wear on a unit for an entire game also Playing florida's the got the like side, what is the safety door florida's got like several 500 pound freaking monsters that surely can't keep up over four quarters where is he at Yeah, for whatever reason, they keep two safeties back, neither of which are aggressive towards the run. Is that, is that five star Kamari Wilson? I couldn't tell you. I certainly hope not for their sake. Love the love the love the twelve personnel double tight look against an odd front. You balance them up. That's why you get two high safeties though, because it's a balanced formation. I mean, if they start if they start declaring yeah. one or the other. You're just going to run the other direction and, and kill them. So we gave Billy Napier credit for the beginning of the game, putting the defense in a bind formationally. Mike was doing that all game too. And yeah, both teams did it. They were great. I mean, there's a reason these run games are really good. They're, they're tough to stop. Yeah, I said it in my preview of this game that, I mean, football's made for the offense to be successful. The offense is supposed to win one-on-one -on -one matchups. And that's what was happening. Both Both offenses were clicking. Um, good game it's plans going in. Elite defenses in college football have elite personnel. I mean, how they much did how much did UGA no give up on this team? Elite coordinators out there. I mean, there's really good ones, obviously, but I mean, these schools have elite personnel. Florida State's still working there. I'm just kind of <sighs> tired of the whole nice. eleven four can't take us to the next step. You don't know that. We don't know. Yeah, let's get to a ceiling before we start making. Well, plans. I guess then the yes, then and this is we'll, we'll we'll dissect this in a second. But I guess then the criticism is Adam, if it's about elite personnel, is an elite defensive coordinator somebody that's good enough X's and O's and can acquire elite personnel? That's that's that is fair, but I don't even know if we can evaluate that yet because you just had your first winning season. Yeah, that's true. Go back, Kevin. Go back and see if that was PI on McClellan. 
It's he, not, he, uh, I mean, he had a hand on it. He had. But, I mean, you could have called it. It was the weakest call ever, but. So what you don't see is his arm is wrapped. So this ref back here is going to see that arm across the body of the Florida. The fourth and 18. I d <sighs> it's very weak, but he's looking for that arm. That's the only thing he's looking for. And he saw it and he called it. Oh, ugh, I don't know. It, it went against how they called everything else. I and yeah, I, I it agree. wasn't even it wasn't even like a hook or anything like that. I don't know. No. I, like I said, you you could have called it, but soft. Oh, and you almost get him. Yeah. And I think this is you just kind of being soft defensively, helping, forcing the check down, hoping your pressure can get there. You'd like to hope McClendon could finish that. Play. I mean, I guess against almost any other QB they played this year, he would have. I think, right? Uh, it, it looked identical to what Jaden Daniels was able to do, escaping the pocket and making yeah. some throws in that last drive. Yeah, so that's how like Jaden and Malik, right? Like, yeah. I mean, you played arguably the the three best, uh, most athletic quarterbacks in the country, besides besides maybe uh, UCLA's kid in USC. Yeah. Ugh. Most. Ugh, it's a tough run. You're already with that run, though. I mean, yes. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't do more of this. To be honest with you, I just wish first would slow down. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's got an in him, dude. At least not right now. Yeah, I'm a guy with it. I'm with and you it. live with it and you die with it. But it Absolutely. was yep. it, this game, it I don't know, that it didn't help you out too much. All right, so there looks like some kind of cover three potentially. And that's just the one throw I wouldn't be giving up in this scenario when they only have one tight end or one timeout. You know what though? I'm gonna I'm gonna say he's probably one of the few quarterbacks in the country that can make that throw consistently with that kind of arm power. Like if that's an average quarterback making that throw, it's picked off. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the hard thing is that when he wants to be, he he's starting to get some pressure. Yep. And that last play was a great tackle. Yep. So first beats a tight end here. Mm, it's a good, good job on squeezing the... that. Yeah, this Man. is a great job by Greedy Vance, who's who's staying up here for this guy. And Richardson drops a dime in here right in right in the gap. But Vance is a good job squeezing it as as KB just said. Man, he's scrappy boys. I like Greedy. What well, nice take. That ended up in that ended up being a nice take. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see, they're cheaters anyway. It wouldn't have counted, even if you did catch it. <laughs> bunch of bunch of cheaters. They cheat again. Another cheat in action. These this team is just a dirty team. All right, fourth and twelve. They're just bringing go. more than Florida can block. They're saying, yep. "We're not disguising anything. We're in man coverage. You want to toss up a a ball to the back of the end zone." With Jamie Jamie Robinson in your face, good luck. Yeah, especially when you're holding Jamie Robinson's face mask like a dirty cheater. <laughs> just cheating all over the place. I didn't see anything else on that play worth note either. Just just the yeah. Richardson hold of yeah. Robinson's face mask. Knowles win forty five to thirty eight. And guys, it was an uneven performance. It wasn't as clean as some of the other four that you played. However, you pay you you played a better opponent. Mm -hmm. Um. And I think if last weekend taught everybody anything is that take nothing, take no W for granted in college football. The better team, the team that's playing the best, doesn't necessarily always win every week. And we saw that a lot, especially during rivalry week, right? So much dumb, funky stuff happens. So while it wasn't by as big of a margin as we all thought it was going to be, Florida State was the better team on Friday. And they won and they closed out like they were supposed to do. And my God, boys, what a satisfying win and what a mm. satisfying season. It was cathartic, dude. It was a release. It was a release, and it was well-earned by them, by the coaching staff. Hell, it was well-earned by you guys watching, man. We've been through the ringer these past five or six years. and Magnifique. Yeah, it felt good. it felt good to close the season, obviously, with a win, but a win over Florida. In 
I don't know. Kevin and I were talking about it earlier. Like it would have been really cool to blow them out. Obviously, like we would have enjoyed that. The end of that game felt so much more like gratifying than the Miami one, though. Like just because it was so, I don't know, because it was so back and forth and you saw them fight and you finally got to see them come back and win a game. Like they've struggled to do that. The, they struggled to do those things as a program recently and to see them do that against a against a good team um it, it was i would have liked to have seen 45 to 3 but i was happy with 45 to 38 uh, yeah and it was and it's against the team last year where you were set up for another big end of season momentum filled game yep. and you screwed up like you yep. just you weren't ready for the moment this was yeah. totally different this yeah. was totally different and i'm with you man it felt more it felt more earned. It felt more deserved. Miami, yeah. it was just, I don't know, like clubbing a seal with like, <laughs> I don't know, with like I mean, a Louisville was, slugger. Miami was like going out in, or I should say coaching against Miami. It was like going out and coaching against my five-year-old son. Like, right. I think he, I think he knows more about football than Mario Cristobal does, but um, <laughs> yeah. I'm I mean, about that. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's like okay, like this is a this is a victory worth celebrating. Like yeah. against yeah. Miami, you beat a guy with the Madden ninety four offense, where it was like the three <laughs> like the three options, and you pick it from there. Like it was just, it yeah, was very it just, satisfying. Yeah, it, it was. Kev, you were there. Yeah, it was it was electric. Um, it was to me such a great um, reflection of the LSU game. Uh, mm, tight, tight Good first book half. Hits. Florida State gets to a lead early in the second half, um, then kind of struggles down the stretch to let the other team back in the game, and then kind of finds up a clutch, finds a clutch moment at the very end of the game to to kind of end things. And I, I think both games you kind of see the same thing, where uh, both teams have a quarterback who's electric when they want to be. Both teams kind of beat you on both offensive and defensive lines, but you were able to scheme together some drives and put together uh, plays that uh, that won you the game against first-year head coaches. So I, I think there's a nice balance, a nice symmetry to that that win that to me was pretty satisfying and shows me that if this if Florida State's able to build their offensive and defensive line to be at the same level of these. LSU's and Florida's of the world, you have a staff that's able to put together a game plan to win. Um, you're winning these games even without the offensive and defensive line, and I, I think that's an encouraging thing. Of like, if this, if these, if the trenches can take one step forward, this, this, this Florida State team's a top fifteen team, but with the with the trenches, I, th I think they're a top ten, top five team. Yeah, a, a, a team that can can reasonably compete for a playoff spot. But yeah, we know offenses carry the day anymore, right? I mean, we know what the ceiling of this offense can be with average offensive line play. Like to have an idea of what it could be with above average to really good offensive line play, like it it's scary to think about. It's not scary. It's incredible <laughs> to think about, but it's scary for college football because I think the potential exists like Kev saying like to really take that next step as a program um can we retire the hat though like throw the dang ball run the effing ball <laughs> yeah that team does need to run it. <laughs> run the effing ball seven straight games of 200 plus yards i love you mike norvell did they get it again this game yep they got another two hundo first time since like 87 and like you said guys it's the name of the game's offense and luckily for you florida state fan your head coach is one of the elite offensive minds in all yep. football, and that's on question. And these and three idiots got... questioned him, questioned that shit. Oh, boy. Yeah, we did. We dumb. After the – Yeah, well, yeah, game? after the NC State game. I mean, yeah. I mean, they yeah, got well, – But they it got really felt like after that game, game, like, it, it felt like – Nobody remembers that game. Bury that video. Oh, Just I remember. Stick that on the feed. But something changed after that game. Like, I don't yes. care what anybody says. The – I don't know. The playbook, the whatever – it opened up. So I don't know if they just had more faith in Jordan. They felt like the O-line finally had gotten some cohesion and they could handle more uh, wide receivers finally kind of understood what was going on. I'm not sure. But after that game, everything kind of changed. And here we are. 
Here we are, 9-3. and three. And speaking of elite minds, every single one of you is an elite mind because if you're watching this on the Knowles 24-7 YouTube, if you're watching this on the X's of Knowles YouTube, you are an elite mind. The triple option has the finest elite minds. Guys, the season's almost over. We got a bowl game, but the content's not stopping. December is psychotic. It's just mm. go to Knowles 24-7, sign up, subscribe to both of our YouTube pages. We are going to be here for you. Because we love you. The Knolls are nine and three. FSU rules. Gators suck. Keep chopping.